Hello everyone. So today we will just discuss about the Google Kickstart uh, problem for 2021 and I'll be uh, actually like coding in Python. So okay, let's let me go to the problem. Okay. So here uh, also I just want I, I don't want to just go through this problem. I hope that you have already gone through. And also I will leave the leave in the description the link uh, link for this uh, uh, website. So here, uh, if you, uh, I'll just directly go to the input and output. So what you need to do being a developer is like, uh, they will give you some test cases, okay? So if you have done uh, Google Kickstart before, so you know that uh, this uh, first integer always represents the number of uh, test cases. So we have two test cases, that is uh, this one followed with this one. And two test cases we have, in the first time we have two integers. So if you come over here, so they say, what are the two integers are N and K. So first n represents the nothing but the number of uh, length and it's like a length of the string which is follows after this uh, line okay and one is the number of mismatches okay so what are this mismatches is like the given input so uh, uh, actually the problem states that there are n strings that is five strings and the person assumes that there are one mismatch. What are the mismatch actually? What exactly is talking about? So if you fold this uh, string like a mirror image, uh, like you just uh, fold it uh, uh, like from midway. So it you, you, this A overlaps with this A. So okay, it's matching. Perfect. So this A overlaps with the, this B. Okay, it's not matching. So this mismatches number of mismatches here is one. Okay, one. So what he assumed and what we found out one one is matching. So. We are just have to subtract 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. That's what we have to output over here. Here also same thing. Here also we have to just uh, like uh, uh, fold this uh, string. So if you fold this, uh, so you find the number of mismatches is only in the middle. That is B and A. Okay. So not A and A. So it's matching. So only 1. But he assumes it's 2. So we have to correct him. It's not 2. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. That is what the... Okay, so I think if you are confused, let me walk you through the more problems. Okay, so uh, I think uh, instead of two, I have what I have done is I have just copied this and I have made it uh, uh, five. And uh, as since it's five, so we have five test cases. Okay, so now <clears throat> uh, the first test case, I think uh, we we have gone through these two test cases. Let us go through this test case to make you understand. I'll copy this test case down below. Okay, and let me just this and let me start deleting one by one. Okay, this is matching A and A. Next, we have to see B and A. Okay, not matching, right? So what do you do? You just add one. Next, C and C matching. Next again, B and A not matching. So make it two. Next, A and A matching. A and A matching. B and A not matching. So make it three. So we have three. Uh, three uh, characters which are not matching in this uh, their cases but what uh, the k is given is one so no, it's, it's not answer is not one so one my difference of one minus three is two so answer is uh, two three minus two and by the way you can ignore if the number of characters are odd so you can always ignore the middle one okay same thing here also like uh, I think, but if the numbers of uh, uh, these characters are even then it will always uh, uh, it will be like perfect fold okay so <clears throat> let me now delete this here we have 10 characters okay in this 10 characters b is not b and a is not matching one and b and a is not matching two a and a is matching b and a is not matching again three and now last one also not matching four so we have 4 and here we have answer as 2. So again, the difference between 4 and 2 is, uh, so 4 minus 4 and 2 is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2. Always remember, you the answer cannot be here uh, negative 2, okay. So you have to always make it positive. Okay, so let us go to the, go through the last problem that is uh, this one. So we can compare directly. So A and A is matching, okay, next. A and A is uh, matching next. A and B is not matching. So that mismatch is 1. So 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. That is what the answer. So we should get this answer. Okay. So what we do? So let's, let me show you the code which I built using Python. So I think this is the very standard stuff. Uh, like uh, you just have to read the test case and you have to look through the number of test cases 
and the first integer is always uh, this n and k and next we have the a as uh, <coughs> you just have to read this uh, string okay and uh, one more thing I just want to tell you is like in Google Kickstart you always have to find the best uh, algorithm so here uh, for you no need of even though string is length of n no need of looping for uh, entire length but you can loop through only the uh, mid till the uh, till the mid length of n divided by 2 so for example length is uh, 10 so you can loop from 0 to 4 0 to yeah 4 okay so to get it 4 so you have to do just uh, 10 divided by 2 yeah it will come 5 but i think it's fine because uh, if you are comparing uh, like uh, this uh, c with the c then it always matches right so it's fine okay so order of operation here is n by 2 okay so this is this is what you need to remember okay then let's uh, go through the problem again so here i have defined a variable for total unequal is equal to 0 and uh, i have just this is i have not required actually you can just uh, sub put this here directly okay so yeah i think i just put it over here by to control x because i'm using it only one time right okay and then uh, and then i'm comparing length of uh, the first characters whether it matches with the length of the last character to find the last character you can do either n minus 1 mi minus i which is for example if length is i is 0 so 0 and the length of a is 5 for the first test case okay length is 5 okay so then uh, 5 minus 0 minus 1 which is equivalent to 4 so the a of 0 is equal to a of 4 which is matches or not if it's not matching it's matching that's why it come out of the if condition or else it will add up okay and finally after looping through all the n num n times n by 2 times so we just have to find the difference and uh, also uh, first i did using this but later i thought okay we can just uh, minimize the number of code using just absolute function which will convert the neg negative number to a positive number and i'm just displaying the test cases okay so let me just uh, add some test here so i'm adding the same test case which i have given so i'm just click on run test okay it's uh, so we have answer as 0 1 2 2 8 so if you compare here 0 1 1 2 2 8 so our uh, this whatever we understood from the problem is correct okay then let's go to the uh, let's submit the solution okay and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching this uh, channel uh, for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel for getting uh, more notification in the future okay and also uh, in the next uh, video right i will be uploading uh, uh, the L-shaped plots, rabbit house and checksum using Python. Thank you. Have a nice day.